Hi and welcome back to Coffee Brains. I'm your neurologist, Dr. Serdan, and I'm here to bring you your daily neurobrew. Today I want to talk to you about one of my patients that are being hospitalized at this moment in one of the institutions uh, that I work. I don't want to talk a lot about the name or s- because obviously I don't want to reveal uh, this patient's identity, but I can tell you that it's a 70-year-old woman that has been well known to have epilepsy since she was a child, but for unknown reasons, she hasn't been taking any uh, anti-seizure medications over the past 10 years. Yesterday, suddenly, while she was driving, she had a generalized tonic-clonic seizure, meaning the whole body started to contract, and it lasted about five minutes. The daughter was with her, kind of took the wheel, put them, the car on the side, but uh, after those five minutes of seizures, she actually went into respiratory arrest. She stopped breathing. And subsequently, she went into a cardiac arrest. Her daughter started to, to give CPR, and then paramedics came by and continued CPR, arrived to the emergency room. She was intubated and then admitted to intensive care unit. Thank God she's now uh, on a stable uh, phase. But I think the important point here, and, and, and something that I win- wanted to clear, is that what she had is something called SUDEP, Sudden Unexpected unexpected Death in Epilepsy. This is something that can happen in patients that have generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Uh, it's, it's, it's very rare. It's not something that we see often, but it, once in a while we see it. Uh, the theory is that there's a, an electrical uh, discharge that is sent from the brain to different organs, including the heart and the lungs. The heart stops, st- uh, stops to contract and uh, the, 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 the lungs expand in a way that some of the fluid gets into uh, the lungs causing pulmonary edema and subsequently they go into respiratory arrest and cardiac arrest and they can die. So it's important to know, it's something that I always explain to all my patients and, and that is the reason why every single seizure needs to be addressed, something that we really need to uh, you know, control uh, and explain to the patients why we need to take these medications every day. I hope you like your daily neurobrew and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye.